the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Welcome back. Today is Sunday, September 19th, 2021, and this is It All Began in the 70s, Episode 6. Way too many questions. So, I always had and still have so many questions about the world, uh, and the big question that always plagued me was why. Not so much the what, but the why behind the what. In fact, um, I would drive my parents completely nuts. Um, My teachers, some of my teachers enjoyed it, but my parents, uh, other people around me, just the endless questions that I had uh, drove them crazy. You know, why is the earth round? Why are flowers these colors? Why are insects... Why do they exist? What purpose do they serve? Uh, just question upon question upon question. And again, you know, you you don't know the world from uh, outside of your own perspective. I only assumed that everyone had these questions, that you'd look around and you'd want to understand the world around you and why certain things happen. Certainly the biggest question, and I would even drive and probably still do to this day some people crazy with the why questions. Um, The why questions were uh, were the biggest ones and still are the biggest ones. Why do these things happen? Not so much what is happening. Um... You know, through observation and study, you can, you can, if you have interest and desire, you can get to the what part. But the why questions are the tough questions. And, uh, and to the point, I would do this to the extreme that I can remember. I don't remember what the exact question was, but uh, my grandmother on my dad's side actually stuck me headfirst in a trash can. Uh, I drove her so completely nuts with these, this endless battery of questions. So the biggest why question, uh, other than why are we here, which I, you know, I explained in the last podcast and we'll go into other detail in the future podcast in this series, the biggest question to me, um, the overriding question in the material world is why is there poverty? That's the one that, uh, that that got me and still does, you know. Is it naturally occurring? Is poverty just the natural state of things, or is it some uh, mismanagement of resources that causes it, or is it intentional? Uh, I would say at this point, after pondering this question for a long time and studying it intensely, uh, through the development of ASM in the last roughly 20 years from the concept stage. 20 years since concept is about where we are right now. Um, and getting deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole, as cliche as that is, um, it's not, my, my conclusion is that it's not natural and uh, that it is through both a combination of mismanagement of resources and intentional mismanagement, I would say, or intentional design. Um, It's not normal. There is enough to go around. There's more than enough to go around. It is a construct either through uh, negligence, intent, uh, not knowing what you're doing, not caring, uh, but but not natural. So uh, this gets to a bigger question, which I'm not going to cover in this podcast uh, the main thing I wanted to point out here is the intellectual curiosity aspect. Um, I, you know, it's it's really to the point for me that I have a hard time watching fiction and things that are just phantasmagorical because it feels like a waste of time. I, I feel like I'm always on the clock trying to figure things out, and that I really can't afford the. I don't have the luxury of spinning my wheels with just random uh, amusements. So why why is the overriding question? And in summary, in this material, secular world side of things, why does poverty exist has been the, has been the plaguing um, question for me. And finally, again, in summary, uh, it is my 
belief upon a lot of study and especially in, with ASM as the as the catalyst for that that it is a construct or it is negligence but it is certainly not something that is naturally occurring so if you would like to support this work or if you just want to take a look at the other resources please look in the show notes in the bottom there are both active links to all the the uh, various materials that we have that's always updated and if you'd like to support this work um, financially uh, and receive some special bonuses, um, look in the show notes as well. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day. Bye now.